Christmas A time for miracles Wishing To find a remedy Hoping For better days to come Memories Are flickering shadows Cold nights Hearing the wind blows the snow Reminds me of something gone Sandy Lights and angels Help me Through the changes And I'll be Waiting on Christmas night Here we go, Ryan What? Well, we're in the middle of this nor'easter, and all of New England, I guess, is getting this, and we certainly Daddy. are. Bye! Yeah, let's go ride the four-wheeler. You want to go ride the four-wheeler in all this beautiful snow? It's very light and airy. Woo! <laughs> and freezing cold, of course. And so I'm going to take him on a four-wheeler ride. Woo-hoo! Come on! Exciting. This might be one of the largest snowstorms I've seen here in Maine since I've lived here and it is just outstanding and I'm having such a great time out here with a four-wheeler. I had to take Simeon in because eh, I think he needs about another year to uh, sort of prepare himself for this type of adventure but he'll be there one day I can assure you of that. He's having the time of his life out here but the snow in his face and in his eyes we do have a shield for him on that helmet, but we didn't have it with him uh, for this little ride. That might have helped tremendously, but uh, all of this is a little bit new to him, believe it or not. And so he's just getting used to it, but uh, I wanted to take you out here and let you sort of experience it. I don't know if you live in a cold climate. You'll never see this much snow in Georgia ever, never. And this is, of course, just one snowfall up here, but it's always exciting. The first major snowfall is always exciting. It doesn't matter if you do live in the north. Um, eventually, though, about February or March, you start getting really tired of it. But right now, it's always fun, even for people that live up here in it. They always enjoy it, find ways to enjoy it. And I'm certainly trying to do the same. I love, love, love this thing right here because 
it keeps the wind and the snow out of my face so that's why you see these hoodies on these jackets it's actually this fur is to help the snow and the wind stay out of your eyes sight and face and it'll flip back like that but when you really need to protect yourself you can flip it forward and give you that much more extra you see how it just covers my face it gives you that much more protection so anyway I'm just having a great time I'm not cold at all oh I don't know it's probably around somewhere between 16 and 20 degrees out here I don't I don't really know but uh, just having a great time out here I want to take you all down over here by a it's bigger than a creek smaller than a river what would you call that a stream there's a stream right down here I'm gonna take you over there to it and I, it looks like it's totally frozen over now I'm not gonna get on it because it's far too early in the season and that water is running so that means it may never truly freeze um, to a point where I would be comfortable on top of it but um, certainly a lot of this over here behind me is already turned to ice there was water that came in and then it froze over and so I'm slipping and sliding all over the place and it's so much fun on the full wheeler but I'm going to take you to that stream right now by the way guys I'm running it four high because lack of traction all right that right there comes around like this, this little loop goes around back in there and goes on to the to the lake back behind all these trees. Oh yeah. Solid ice right there. That is solid. I cannot break that. Now I'm gonna test it, but even still I'm not gonna take the full wheeler on it. Yeah, that's, that's pretty dangerous. It cracked under my foot. Again, it's too early in the season, but as you can see, that's clearly ice there. Yep, this is the actual road. This will pretty much shut people down up here in the winter. A road this bad usually will shut people down. There's not a lot of activity out here today. So even up here in the north where they have plenty of salt trucks and plenty of salt, a storm like this has to blow over and then they have to plow it off. So the plowmen have been through here. Back up. Even though the snow trucks are doing a great job, you can clearly tell they can't stay up with the storm. It's just blowing in too fast. So this sort of makes the roads inoperable for a period of time you have to wait for the storm to quit producing snow and then they can plow it all off and then you can get back to normal life but even up here in the north with all the salt trucks and all the salt this can still debilitate them a little but not long <laughs> and I have got to get outside it has continually snowed since we were out last that means it's added probably two to four inches of more snow or more than that frankly on top of what you have already seen and it's gonna get dark here in about 45 minutes or so I've got to get out there and I've got to clean off our patio and take care of our, our awning as you can see it's sort of drooping but it seems to have handled it just fine and I'm going to clean all this off. It's a very, very light, light snow, so it shouldn't even be frozen onto the canopy. I should be able to just 
brush it right off. There's so much snow here that, uh, frankly, I've, I've never seen a snowstorm like this in the four years that I've lived here. Now, I know that they've had bigger storms than this, but I haven't seen it. And uh, our car is practically unrecognizable, which is awesome. I love it. I'm excited. I've been editing today, so I'm editing the video that you've already watched, hopefully. And uh, <laughs> it's kind of interesting when you're trying to do two or three videos in a week, uh, you're videoing and editing all in the same day. And it really becomes sort of a full-time job. It, I mean, you have to dedicate yourself to it wholeheartedly or you're never going to get this done. Other car here and I think they may be like the employee or something. There's one other car in this whole parking lot. We had a big storm today even though the roads are clear now still nobody wanted to get out apparently. So I get the whole TJ Maxx and Home Goods to myself apparently which is kind of cool. But they're gonna close I think a little early when I called. She said they might close early depending on how many customers they have. I'm not gonna do that too. I'm gonna be quick. I'm just gonna... It's our last day to kind of go into the store so I'm gonna be quick. Mm -hmm. 